Good afternoon. Welcome to Norvell University. Back here at the headquarters in Tennessee of our customer care department and our equipment maintenance room. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about your maintenance on your actual turbines. Um, we've done gun cleaning maintenance, and today we want to talk about how to care and maintain your equipment. So many of you call in and say, I didn't know that I was supposed to care or maintenance my turbines on a monthly, um, by yearly basis. So um, come on in and I'm going to show you um, two instances of what to do and what to clean. And today we're going to start with the M1000. Um, this is a very popular machine because of cost and simplicity. Uh, very simple. It is an on and off button, right? Nothing you need to do there. Um, what I always tell people to do is make sure that you wipe down your equipment because we're dealing with sugars. You can use any type of cleaner. I know at Norvell we make an eco clean um, that's very, very easy. You don't need disinfectant. Just a nice cleaner that's going to keep the stickiness. It just maintains the equipment, makes it last longer, kind of like washing your car occasionally. Do you have to wash your car for engine performance? Um, no, some would argue, but keeping a clean car is just a great studious thing to do. So we want to make sure that we wipe this down occasionally, keeping it clean. And a lot of the times these cords get uh, rather filthy as well. So I always tell people to keep that cord nice and clean. Remember, we have our customers that are declothing in the room. So the cleaner we keep our area and overspray off of items, the more pleasant it is for our customers. So what we want to do, you can do this monthly um, or every few months, but at the bottom of the M1000, simple filter. Look at that. Most of you probably looking at this video saying, I didn't even know I had a filter there. This filter is going to allow the motor in this turbine to run much cleaner. And as you see, it's very easy to pull straight out. And this is a brand new machine. So you're going to see that this filter is very clean already. So what we want to do is you just want to wash this, a uh, nice pressure wash to this, uh, and then just let it drip dry on the counter on a towel. Um, you can even squeeze it out and make sure that it is dry prior to putting it back into the housing. You just simply go like this and then right back in to the M1000. Very, very simple. And that is how you keep in, uh, your M1000 clean and running for a long time. Now let's move over to the Z3000. This is the mobile Z3000 uh, through the years We've made some alterations, so yours may be size different. Your filters may be um, larger and or smaller. Regardless, yours may or may not have the ears on the side. Again, what we want to do is take and clean our machine very, very well, getting any of the sugar and or residue off. Um, we can take off any of the hose and quick releases and do the same with that. Very easy removing all these pieces and just wiping them down and cleaning them with warm water and or any type of household cleaner is fine, making sure that it's residue free. Then you can see the filters here. The ears simply come right off with a Phillips head screwdriver and you can take these right off and you can see we've already done it on this side to spare you time. They come off very, very easily. And then these just slide right off, slide right off. And then we do the same thing as I just showed you with the M1000. We want to wash and rinse these and make sure that they have no debris and or old dried solution on them because it's going to allow this turbine to breathe and work at a better optimum speed and rate. So your spray tan is coming out of your very clean spray gun. And then easily just put right back on and then you put the ears right back over the top with the Phillip head screw. And that is cleaning the Z3000. And you do this, you can do this monthly and or um, every, you know, twice a year, depending on the volume of sprays. If you are having um, over 10 sprays a day, I would encourage you cleaning these monthly. Um, if you're just starting out, you could wait a few months, but um, it takes so little time, uh, you guys, to make sure that your equipment is running optimally. So again, from Norvell University and customer care here, 
We appreciate everything you guys do. And make sure you call us at 888-829-2831 with any further care instructions or assistance. Have a great day.